Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to try to show you how to solve a question like this where you expect it to find the derivative or find the y dx if y is x raised to another function of x. If you watched other videos, I've explained that anytime x is not raised to a constant but raised to another function of x, you should introduce natural logarithms because that will help you um, drop this down. It doesn't have to be natural logarithms, but it's just the easiest for us to deal with. So I would say, let's take the natural logarithm of both sides. So now that we've taken natural logarithm of both sides, we can drop this down because we know that we can rewrite this expression as cosine x natural log of x. So now you have a product of two functions and that's easy. We just need to apply product rule in differentiating them. So let's write ln of y. Now we can take the derivative of both sides. So we say ddx of ln of y is equal to ddx of cosine x natural log of x. Okay, so let's differentiate the right hand side and differentiate the left hand side. In differentiating the left hand side, you see you have y, but you want to differentiate with respect to x, so you'll be doing implicit differentiation, which simply means differentiate normally as if you're differentiating with respect to y, but tell yourself, no, I'm differentiating with respect to x, so I have to multiply my answer by dy dx. Okay, I've explained why you do that in other videos, but just look at this. We're going to differentiate this. If you differentiate ln of y, it's just like as if you're differentiating ln of x. So you can see if I differentiate ln of x, I'll get 1 over x. If I differentiate ln of y, I'm going to get 1 over y. But because I'm not differentiating with respect to y, which is the case here, I mean, I'm differentiating with respect to x, but here I have y, so I have to multiply by dy dx. That's the result of this derivative. So we do the same thing on the right-hand side, but we apply the product rule, and the product rule says keep the first, differentiate the second. Keep the first, differentiate the second. Plus, differentiate the first, keep the second. So what we're going to have here will be 1 over y dy dx um, will be equal to cosine x over x minus sine x ln of x. That's what we've got. So what do we do? Well, um, I actually would like to have a single term here, okay? So if we have a single term, we're going to end up with cosine x minus x sine x ln x all over x. Okay, so I've um, subtracted both terms and now I have a common denominator. Now I can multiply both sides by y so I can get rid of the y on this side. Remember, we're looking for dy dx. Okay, so I'm going to end up with dy dx is equal to, if I multiply both sides by y, this cancels out, cancels out, and I have y multiplying this expression here, um, cosine x minus x sine x ln of x, all divided by x. Okay, you know what? I could have brought this x under the y. Why would I do that? Another y, y. Okay, because look at y. What exactly is y? Go back to the beginning. y is x to the cosine of x. So let's replace y. That's what you often do in implicit differentiation. You go back and replace the y if it's pos possible, unless it's too cumbersome, then you, you let it be. So at this point, we're going to replace y with x to the cosine of x. Push this x under it, and then you now have cosine of x minus x sine x ln of x. Okay, so how do we take care of this? Well, apply the laws of exponents. See, this is x to the first. We can rewrite this to be x to the cosine x minus 1 multiplied by cosine x minus x sine x ln x. Want to distribute it's okay but it doesn't make it more beautiful this is pretty enough never stop learning those who stop learning have stopped living bye-bye